Hello guys, uh, welcome to Alvin 211 Media and of course I'm your host Ian. Uh, uh, we have some questions actually for our youth and uh, we have brought to you today two guys. Uh, this is uh, Tud Kwan and we have President Odingo. Uh, welcome guys. Hello. Uh, thank you uh, uh, Mr. Yen. Thanks for hosting us uh, at uh, the 211 uh, Albin Media. We yeah, appreciate thank you. your thank invitation. You. You're welcome to. Yeah. Hello, Tut. Yeah, thank you too. Uh, thank you for having me. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have some few questions. Actually, four. Uh, they are very lengthy. So, we will need your contribution at the comment uh, part. So, question one is Why will a lady crush on a guy and cannot make it to approach him? Why will a lady crush on a guy and cannot make it to approach him? Uh, yes, let's begin with you, Toot. Yeah, uh, thank you for having me again. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, I think the reason why ladies uh, admire guys and they don't, uh, they, they don't tell them that we love you. Uh, this one, it, uh, it depends on our culture or how the girls are being raised up by the parent. So according to our culture, it is our responsibilities as men, you know, to approach ladies. It's not uh, the responsibility to approach men. So even in a, a biblical context, you know, so the men in the Bible, so they were the one who, who, who approached uh, the biblical ladies. Yeah, it's not another way around. So this is the reason why uh, it is our responsibility then to to go for a ladies and tell them that we, we love you because you know the ladies sometimes they they do respect their their dignity yeah because if a lady come to you and say you know i love you so the way you are going to react as a man so you will think that you know this lady is uh, is too cheap for yeah to be my girlfriend or maybe to be my my partner oh, okay so that's why we need uh, also you know there are this saying, uh, you know, there is nothing good without without pain, you know. So as men, we have to we have to suffer to get something. So you have to, you know, you have to toil and you have to talk to these ladies so that they they say yes to us. Because yeah. if the lady just come and say, you know, I love you, it is like you you, you, you you do nothing. <laughs> it's easy for you. Yeah, it's easy for you. You can also misbehave in that relationship. Yeah, that one is a must. Yeah. Yeah, because you will just take this lady as someone who is desperate. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think the reason why it is too complicated for them to approach us is this way of uh, culture, uh, this uh, this culture. So it taught them that you know it is many responsibility than to go for a ladies. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. There's that coyness that a girl automatically cannot for go for a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mr. President. Uh, okay. Thank for the question. Uh, Both of the question will be answered by Toot. Uh, but I have to actually add something on top of it. Of it. Um, this question, according to me, is, 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 is just a mixture of, uh, of two cultures. Uh, our own uh, culture, South Sudanese traditional culture, and uh, modern culture. Uh, this is actually, this is the reason why most of the girls, you know, uh, they, don't, they don't actually tell men when they're crashing. Uh, that is South Sudanese culture. Uh, but there's some few ladies that have understood that, you know, uh, that culture should at least should be balanced with the current uh, culture. Uh, according to these, these ladies, there are some signs that you, sometimes, you know, as a man, there are some signs that you experience when they're crashing on you. Uh, these days, people are using social media. Uh, you can experience this through text. Uh, they can inbox you? Yes. You know, sometimes, even if you're not in the mood to talk to a lady, you can see some, receive some text, you know, yeah, daily. Regularly. Yeah, daily, yeah. yeah. And then if, if, if you're that wise enough as a man, yeah, you, you, will shoot definitely, shoot. You, will, you will definitely know that, you know, this girl is actually crashing yeah. on me. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, she already starts by saying, hi, how was your day, you know, I just want to check on you. Yeah. These are the, the terms that they, they normally use. Every morning, every evening. Every evening, evening yeah. So, uh... Side, side of things, you know, uh, the sign that that you should actually not, you should take so serious as a man when you see a side kind of sign. Yeah. Um, 
But uh, as as two said before, it's our responsibility maybe to. Uh, as a man, you cannot just you know show the lady that you love her when you have not seen such sign. You know. Yeah, and you yeah. cannot also go anywhere. Yes, everywhere. Because, you know, be, this, this one is by Basa, by the way. Yeah. Because if you go and tell her and you have not seen some some good sign, if I you end up being no. you know <laughs> being embarrassed. You know, <laughs> and men also don't like that. They can also reject you. Yeah, they will embarrass you. So it's good that you, you don't take action when you have not seen something yet. Yeah, you have to sure. be patient and observe what is happening. Mm. Yeah. So uh, that thing, according to me, our girl, need, they also need to step, uh, step, uh, step up, because it's not good sometimes to stress everything to men. Yeah. Yeah. You they know, should also uh, play their role. Yes. When you crush on me, don't, don't just play around. <laughs> don't don't beat about the bush. Talk to me. <laughs> come, tell, come. Me. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> tell me. So. Come direct. Yeah. Come direct. And instead <laughs> of going around, you know, beating uh, about the bush. <laughs> Instead of greeting every morning, oh, every man, evening, you uh, just say, "Oh man, I'm." And you know very well that I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they have to balance, you know, the two cultures. Yeah. 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 So uh, because we met this day, we are dealing a lot of things. Yeah. We're not only dealing with the relationship. Ladies and relationship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you have interest, you know, on me, just talk to me. You come. Mm. Yeah. That's very wonderful, guys. Uh, you can. You, you can. Let's move to question two. Uh, can a South Sudanese lady pay for a date? Can a South Sudanese lady pay for a date? Yes, Mr. <laughs> President. Uh, that question, uh, you know, is obvious. Uh, is obvious no, uh, because our girl of uh, uh, having that habit, uh, they think that men, you know, are the one responsible for everything when you come to dating. Uh, even if they have money. They always reserve that money for other purposes. Uh, so, for me, I don't know what what made them do, do inside, you know, because uh, when you come to a relationship and actually now, for example, we're in foreign land, uh, we are only student. If, if you have that uh, um, willing maybe to take me outside for a date, so it should be your responsibility. Because it happens that some ladies, uh, they'll be telling you, we have to go for a date tomorrow. And and they're not the one, you know. They're, they're not the one going to pay the bill. So as a man, you have to make sure that you think twice. <laughs> so if, if you say yes and you are not prepared, <laughs> you'll end up being embarrassed by the yeah. you know in in, in hotel. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes often that when you say that no, uh, maybe I'll be doing some stuff tomorrow. I'll not make it. Uh, girl will think that maybe you don't value them. Uh, and the reason why you think that is because you are not prepared for. For that date, for that date, uh, you don't have money, so you just want to confirm that maybe you'll be doing other things tomorrow, mm, so that uh, you can also gain time to to, to, to you know mobilize some, some funds. Yeah. yeah. So uh, as a man, we are also complaining why we are always paying the bills, paying the debt. Yeah. They should also they, come in. Yes, because this one, uh, if, if we believe that we have jumped from that culture of South Sudan, is because by then. When you're taking a girl out for a date, you don't pay anything, according to our culture. So if you move to this modern culture now, in need of contribution, two of us, yeah. it should not be one-sided. Yeah? Because the uh, white culture, when they go for a date, everybody's paying the bill. Yeah. yeah? Not, it should not be a man duty alone, by the way. Yeah. So as uh, on, on behalf of men, I'm raising this issue too, that you know, girls, they have to, to do, the, do the fat. Yeah? I'm not saying that they, they don't have money. They have money, but they don't do that. What made them not because do that? They, they, they get that it's not their responsibility. Yes, which is not the case. They, they took it. They, they, that, that's the place, you know, uh, that's where they got it wrong. Because <laughs> as here, we are all students. No one is working here. Yeah? And this habit, you know, is the habit that they... Uh, <laughs> so everybody is a student, so everyone should pay for what they everybody should they, they pay. are using. If you have the capacity that tomorrow we're going for a date, you make sure that you pay my bill, my Uber bills, you know, uh, we go and eat, and then later on, you, you know, we defer. If I'm the one deciding that we're going to for, for the date, you will cut up for everything. So I'll cut up for everything. Yeah. So we, we are not sugar daddies, <laughs> we're, we're students. So sugar daddies are the one doing such. When they say that we go for a date, they say everything, you know. <laughs> Uh, they even buy you new clothes for the date. 
Uh, but for us, we, we are hustlers, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, we have not reached that point yet. Yeah, sure. So, our South Sudan English is how to understand that. Yeah. This is a so, you guys need to understand that. Yeah, we are it, students. Yeah, this is a relationship, by the yeah. way. No, not a... Uh, uh, everyone, should, everyone should participate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It should be punished. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's be wonderful. Uh, let's hear from Mr. Toot. Yeah. I think this question is uh, quite strange because the the way our ladies now behave it is something which we we men we cannot understand uh, because there are some ladies who are very dedicated and they are campaigning for this feminism of which they are saying men and women uh, they should be equal by all men but when it comes to responsibility so they don't they don't want any responsibility so they want men to to take to this take all these this, uh, responsibilities and they are saying men and women they should be equal yeah, like you know, the something which happened, I think, few months, few months back. So the daughter of Raila Odinga, uh, she was asked by a man to for a date, you know, and immediately she accepted. But she she asked the guy to to send fair, you know, yeah. And and if you see this, she's the daughter of Raila Odinga. She has everything, and yet she's asking for for fair from the man. So this shows that you know the ladies see this thing as our responsibilities so to do everything yeah. Yeah, even if they have something to offer so they don't want to offer this thing because we are men yeah. they are saying we are the one who's supposed to to uh, to do everything for them and that's why i'm saying this uh, this question is a bit complicated <laughs> yeah because the ladies they want you know they want the, the equal share in in terms of uh, the way we are treating them yeah they say you know we are being mistreated so it is a must that men and women they should be equal, but they don't have responsibilities. I think that. Yeah, so sure. now that's why it's very complicated for for them to to pay for a for a bill or maybe to to pay for a date, you know, yeah. because they believe it is something you know invented in their heart or in their mind that you know it is our it is our duty as a man to then to do everything. Yeah, again, you know, uh, there are some ladies also who can pay for this thing. Yeah. But such ladies, they are the ones who, who have been in this uh, court for maybe for many years or yeah. for quite some time. Someone who understands yeah, it yeah, very some, well. So yeah, someone who understands the situation very well. Yeah, I think this is the reason why it's a bit challenge for them to uh, to contribute in this uh, in this in this chapter or yeah. in this in this courtship. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I have advice for you girls or ladies. Uh, sometimes you can go for a date with a man maybe your boyfriend or maybe it's the first date mostly the first date so it's good that you carry your money with you to the hotel yeah because in case this guy fail to pay your bill you pay for yourself yeah nowadays someone can refuse to pay for you so it's not a secret so you should be ready for that uh thank you this the third question is uh, why do ladies go for money, appearance, and um, fame without considering the man's future? Why do ladies go for money, appearance, and fame without considering the man's future? Uh, let's start with you, Mr. Toot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, according to this uh, this current uh, society that we are living yeah. so the system that we are living now it has changed everything you know you know some years back our you know our mothers and our fathers you know they don't they don't consider this thing yeah what they consider is you know is love you know if there's love or maybe the background of uh, that family is okay so that is what they consider but now things have changed uh, in a way which make ladies to to have to have some demands yeah? They have some demand which they which they demand from men. Like uh, like I said, the first thing that fear, you know. Yeah. So most of the ladies, most of the girls, they go for appearance. Even though the guy is, uh, is uh, even though the guy is broke or maybe he's doing nothing, as long as he's handsome, very tall, maybe dark, yeah, they consider this thing because well, all they need is uh, uh, to, like showing off. Yeah. Yeah. To just to tell their friend, you know, this is my boyfriend. Uh, it's just all they need is just admiration from their friend, you know. 
Yeah, this is the reason why most of the ladies they go for uh, appearing. And again, you know, uh, now we are in this world of social media where you know everyone is just there uh, showing herself or maybe, maybe himself. So, they, the, most of the ladies they take this social media as a ground where they it's a battleground for, yeah, where for they, them, yeah, where they showcase themselves, yeah, yeah. They post, they post their photos showing people that you know we are you have beautiful, you know. Uh, because of this thing, they want men or boys who, who will uh, give them uh, maybe beautiful children, yeah. yeah. This is what makes them to, to go for handsome men, <laughs> yeah. Again, you know, uh, when they go for parties or maybe night, night club. Yeah, and maybe you are going there with, uh, with someone who has uh, uh, a scary face, you know, like someone who is not handsome. Yeah, so with the stony uh, face. Yeah, so <laughs> so the, the you know you will, you know you will feel like shame. Yeah. yeah. When you see your friend, you know. Yeah, you cannot walk alongside yeah, that. You cannot yeah. hold hands. Yeah, yeah. So there's something we happened recently. So a, a guy, you know, approached a lady. They used to text each other, you know, through what uh, through WhatsApp. And the lady keep uh, ignoring the guy. Uh, one day she decided to, to reply the to reply the question. Yeah. So she told the guy, you know, the reason why I don't want to, to reply you is because I don't want to have a ugly kid. You know. So this is the reason why I don't want to to have anything to do with you. That's very harsh. So I seen that. So ladies now they need uh, guys who are very handsome. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the reason why you know the ugly boys that you know they are suffering now. <laughs> yeah. What about the one with the money and those one with fame? Yeah, you know this uh, this thing with money. Yeah, it's also this uh, this world of nowadays. So it destroys the society we are living in because uh, everyone is believing in money. So people now they they, they worship money like uh, like the biblical Jesus. Like, yeah. You know, they believe money more than the God who created uh, who created human being. Yeah, because uh, with money you can buy everything. Yeah, you can go to any hotel that you that you like to visit. You know, you can buy any clothes you want to want to buy, any car you want to buy. So now, because of this, it encourages ladies to go for men with money, or maybe all men with money. Yeah. So this culture of uh, normal dating now, I think is just I can call it outdated. Outdated now. People, uh, most of the girls, they don't consider that. They yeah, only consider sure. men with money. So even though they are ugly, as long as they have money. This is what they consider. Yeah. So when it comes to fame, okay, is it not bad for a girl to go for for someone who is uh, famous? Yeah. Uh, because you know, in this world, uh, what we need is just a legacy. We won't leave a legacy, uh, so that tomorrow when we die, yeah, our legacy, you know, we live. That's why most of the ladies uh, they go uh, for a guy who are, who are famous. But the question is, are these guys uh, loyal? Are they going to treat them well? Yeah, you know these these are the kind of the question the ladies they don't Should ask have themselves. themselves yeah. yeah, but they don't. What they need is just a short term, you know, uh, prestige or maybe showing off something which is going to end, in, you know, in a, in a short time. In but, and in tears also. Yeah, yeah. And this thing, you know, they don't consider that as you know, as long as you are famous, then you can get a girl any time. Any, any, yeah, any anytime, way. anywhere, because you are famous. <laughs> as long as you want it. Yeah, as long as you want it. Even though you don't have money, but you are, you are famous. famous. Yeah. This is what they consider. Yeah. yeah, It's not bad for them to go for a guy who are very famous, but they should have to think. Yeah, they, You know, they should have to ask some question if this guy are going to, to treat them well. Like now, currently, it is happening that the, the famous people now, or the celebrities now, they are getting divorced every now and then when you go to the Western world. Yeah, or maybe Asia. This thing are happening. So it shows that, you know, the, the famous people... Are not loyal. Yeah, they are not loyal. And they consider themselves <laughs> as people who are on the top. Yeah. <laughs> and they can get an, an, everything they want. Yeah. That's why they don't stick to to one to one girl or maybe one uh, one woman, you know. Because they believe that uh, if I get divorced with this lady or maybe we, we break up, another one is going to come. Yeah. Without, without even going for uh, just to stress himself or... Yeah, because they believe that you know they own the world, you know. Because if you are famous, then maybe and you have money, you are you are on top of the world. It is like you own the world, you own everything. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think this is what I can I can add. Okay, this. thank you, thank you yeah. very much. Uh, it's your choice. So.
Mr. President? Uh, well, uh, this question actually involves a lot of uh, condition. Uh, since it has been categorized into three uh, uh, categories. Like, for instance, if I start with uh, why do you know ladies go for people with money? Uh, for us, uh, sometimes we, we have to do analysis first, you know, why, why ladies are doing that. There's some condition why a lady can actually run for a, somebody with money. Uh, so we don't know all the conditions the ladies are they're going through. Uh, and these things, you know, when you come to ladies, they are always involved competition among themselves. So when you are, you are, when you are not owning something, you know, good, ladies sometimes they, they take you as you are in uh, lower standards. Uh, that's one of the things that sports ladies, you know, looking for a guy's money so that they want to look good. Yeah. For example, uh, if, uh, uh, if if the girl is not getting a demand, you know, in their in their house, maybe from her parents, uh, she would actually, you know, force herself to do side in order to, to look good outside when she go out with friends. Yeah. Uh, so that's one of the factors, you know, that encourage ladies to actually look for a guy with money. Uh, so another thing is about uh, uh, about the background, you know. Uh, when some ladies, they sometimes they put themselves in, in a situation that they want to be responsible for their families. Uh, maybe she is the firstborn, and maybe her sibling they are looking up to her. Yeah. So she will have to do that, you know, in order to trace, you know, those kids. Uh, for example, now in South Sudan, you get most of the of the kids they are orphans, you know. If you happen that maybe you are the elder uh, sister in the house, so you have to do. Yeah. Whatever you can, you know, to make sure that yeah, to, uh, to, to bring, bring people. That money. Yeah, maybe you bring money, bring bread home for for those people. Uh, another factor too that's contributing to our ladies, and and some ladies they are doing it for enjoyment. Yeah, sure. You know, they go outside there, they spend money together with that man. Uh, they they brag, you know, uh, putting themselves themselves in a label that uh, they cannot g get by their own. But yeah. they have to take advantage of that person. Uh, coming to uh, fame, uh, you know, these days most of the ladies they, they like uh, celebrities. But when you hang out with a big guy, you know, somebody who is known, so you will, for you to be known also is very easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they take it as a, a shortcut to you know to be famous. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So our ladies they are doing that. You know, even if. If you are famous, even if you are ugly, the girl will come for you. Yeah. Yeah, because you will take them to a place that they never seen before. <laughs> uh, they will start meeting you, you know, with big people. Yeah. yeah. Because you are a big boy, you know. That's why we have this song called "You Want to Chill with the Big Boys." <laughs> so it's another way to to gain fame for them. Yeah, sure. Uh, even if she, you don't mean it, maybe you'll be together for like three months, two months. Later on, when she when you expose us to the to the high standard now, she'll be starting looking for another big guy. Yeah, sure. yeah. As long now she's known to all these big yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the moment you take her out, some big boy will also look into that. Uh, yeah, will look, look at this, this, yeah. this, this, this beautiful chick. lady. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> so another guy will try to pull up uh, his socks, you know. Yeah, and go he, for them. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Yeah, he has <laughs> something more than you, um, you know, than, than you have. Uh, ladies, you are going to kill us. Uh. So, <laughs> so um, the third one is about. Uh, I've talked about uh, money and fame, mm. and about appearance. Appearance, you know, yeah. Fame, being uh, handsome. Yeah, uh, this this way our ladies now got it wrong, you know, uh, mm. because uh, the world we're living today has nothing to do with handsomeness. You know, you can be handsome, but if you have don't have something in hand. Yeah, you have to work at. It gotta be damn shit for you, man. <laughs> so, uh, so most of the ladies, okay, for those ladies who are independent, I can advise them to go for, you know, famous men. Yeah. Because uh, if it happens that you have a kid with that man, even if he's not having something, you'll be taking care of your kids. Hmm. But if you go for a famous man and you're not independent, you always think. Uh, so both of you will, will actually will end up, suffer. you know, it's gonna be difficult for you to raise the kids, you know, because the man is having nothing and you're having nothing. Uh, so, okay, those days, you know, uh, back then, you know, uh, that, that uh, century of parents, you know, they always consider 
it's unsoundness and something that is mm. uh, that can look to, uh, into because yeah. by then people they don't go to school uh, money is less important by then people just go to cultivate in the farms uh, so even if your husband is not having that much you know your parent or the, the the relative yeah, of the man will contribute yeah, something. Come in, yeah. But now the life we're living today, we are not helping one another, by the way. You, you, struggle today, your home. Yes, you decided today that you, you want to get married, you're the one who decide that. Yeah. You know, we're using money, not cattle by, by then. Yeah. So uh, so the reason why you know may, may, you know ladies are very attractive to and some guys is because when they go go out, you know, you want to hang out, you know, yeah, you, you clubs, brag with your boyfriend. You know, the, the, you know, they, they show to other ladies that I'm dating the most handsome man in, the, in this society. Yeah. <laughs> but later on, when you make your boyfriend to be known and he's also handsome, other ladies also want to take that, that man from you. <laughs> they also come Yeah, in. so they don't know. It has disadvantages <laughs> and advantages. Yeah. And the more you expose your, your boyfriend in the public, you brag. Other girl, you know, those who don't want you maybe to want something good, we also work out to make sure that this guy yeah, must be taken away from you. Yeah. yeah. So... I have to advise our girls that you know handsomeness is not uh, important in this world today. Yeah. But I'm not saying that don't date handsome guys. You can. But you, you make you sure that you build your future. Yeah, they have to make sure they consider. Are these guys uh, handsome guys having future? Do they have brain? Because uh, majority of the handsome guys, actually, they act so stupid sometimes. <laughs> hmm? They don't know because they, they think that even if they are not doing anything, yeah. ladies will come for them. So uh, they have that ego. And our ladies have to be careful for that. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to be careful, as you have heard from President. Uh, we need your comment there. The last question, which is the question four, uh, it's from ladies. And I think this one is very important. Uh, they are saying South Sudanese men be like crushing on you and approach you intentionally but later claim that you are the one who goes for them they come for you they shoot their shot but later reject that they are the one who came for you so they 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 they, they, they put the luggage on you that you are the one who goes for them uh mr president what do you think about that so wh- wh- why why is it that way <laughs> why why would a man embrace uh their girls or maybe their their girlfriends why would they reject them why okay uh well uh, thank for the question uh there must be a reason why you know when you come to such scenario why a guy should deny you know a lady or claim that you know the lady is one crashing or first on, on him first uh first of all this one uh, often when you know when you disagree with your girlfriend and or when you have uh, maybe two or more girlfriends, yeah? Uh, when the, the other one caught you, you know, in dilemma, <laughs> uh, you will claim that maybe... You just, have to just, remove just yourself from that to, problem. Yes, try, you'll try to defend yourself, you know. Yeah. <laughs> saying that uh, this girl is the one coming for me. Uh, she's, she's actually been disturbing me, but I never pay attention to her. So it's another way of saying that this girl is... Yeah. Uh, when you, you get yourself in a situation that you cannot be able to explain yourself. Yeah, so you have sure. to, to look for a way to defend yourself. Yeah. Uh, secondly, when, when the, you break up, you know, even if you don't have side chick, when you break up, and other people will be asking you, why, why are you doing that? You know, why are you breaking up with this the girl? Uh, and she's saying that maybe you're the one who came for her first. Then she, you know, you'll be saying that, no, uh, by then I was, I was not having the interest, you know. She was the one forcing herself to me. So for me, I have no problem. Even if <laughs> That's too we, bad, we break up, yeah? So, but uh, uh, for, for, uh, for instance, uh, there must be some step, you know, as you have to take as a man before when you're crashing on a lady. Or it, to know that maybe a lady is crashing on you. Uh, most of the time, ladies are the one crashing on men. Yeah, but for them, they pretend like they're, they're not doing anything. Uh, as a man, you know, this day, okay, we have, Third way to note it that the girls they are crashing on us. Uh, like we are in social media platforms, uh, you will realize that you know when a girl is keep texting, you know texting you uh, daily on daily basis, 
and they say hi how was your day what 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 just wanted to check on you <laughs> or something like that yeah so if, if you are that wise enough so don't don't lose that opportunity by the way <laughs> uh, the girl is crushing on you but if she's not even uh, saying anything don't, don't attempt yeah because you you may you know you may end up being buddies yeah. you know these girls now they also they also brought yeah uh, when you just ambush yourself and say hey i love you what 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 she will go outside there and tell other girls you know uh, ian is crashing on me <laughs> uh, and i don't like him yeah uh, Odingo also is, is, is they just use me. they just want to use your name. They use your name so that they will be considered as a big girl because if if Zero or Odingo or it uh, too, as you know, is talking to her, they, they know that you know the label she is now. Hey, that's that's very yeah, bad. High label. That's so bad. I can also advise my brother that you know, don't just go for you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for a girl when you have not noticed anything. So. Yeah. Yeah, because. He, this day we we know you know if the girl is, is crashing on you yeah there's some sign that you and you can know the right time you are supposed yes, to go yes yes yeah so you don't need to humble yourself <laughs> yeah <laughs> take that information very yeah. well okay thank you very much mr president mr tut <laughs> yeah i think you know odingo has uh, say a lot you know yeah yeah you know uh, when it come to this question uh I think there's there's a reason why a man should say or a boy should say that you know this girl is uh, she's the one who who came who came for me I didn't go for her uh, you know there's something which happened I think two years ago yeah there's the there's this guy so he impregnated a, a girl and the girl is uh, is too ugly you know <laughs> yeah the girl is too ugly it's quite ugly you know. Uh, you know when he was being being questioned by by his friend that why are you why are you uh, impregnated that uh, that kind of a lady you know he said you know this lady was the one who came for me I didn't go for her uh, this is the one reason uh, why a man should say you know I I didn't go for a lady and another reason is that uh, when you are being uh, uh, this thing you know can happen uh, through jealousy you know when you see your girlfriend maybe she has uh, uh, she has be uh, she, she she was taken by another guy and maybe some your friend are laughing at you they are telling you that you know look at your girl you know with, with, with this boy yeah. so for you to defend yourself you, you will say you know uh, this lady you know she came for me i didn't go for her even even if she she's taken by that uh, by that guy i don't care mm -hmm. yeah so this is the reason why or the point at which a, a guy should deny a lady yeah, I think these are the two reasons which I can give. Yeah. yeah. So, gentlemen, you need to change. Uh, I think we are misusing our ladies. Sometimes a guy will say that, oh, this this lady came for me. There are many scenarios, just bragging. So, you just need to be a gentleman. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Our cushion are, uh, there are only four. And we will welcome you again for the next episode. Uh, keep tuned and thank you.